CIETNCERT presents the audio book Joyful Textbook of Mathematics for Class 2 Page 50 Chapter 6 Decoration for Festival We have an image here The image shows some children with garlands in their hands We can also see some garlands lying on the floor The kids are Zoha Simran Rohan, Akash, Suwali and Javed. Decoration for celebration. Rohan and his friends need garlands to decorate their homes for celebration. Each garland has 10 flowers. Complete the given table with the help of the picture. Now we have a table with four columns. The first column is name, the second is number of garlands, the third is number of flowers. and finally the fourth one total number of flowers now name rohan number of garlands 1 number of flowers 2 total number of flowers 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 name simran number of garlands 3 number of flowers 7 total number of flowers equals to 30 plus 7 that is 37 name akash number of garlands Four number of flowers eight, total number of flowers forty plus eight is equal to forty eight. Name Suwali, number of garlands five, number of flowers blank, total number of flowers fifty plus three that is fifty three. Now finish this table for Javed and Zoha. Page fifty one. How many flowers are used by Rohan and Suwali together? In the image we can see Rohan and Suwali conversing with each other. Rohan says, "I have 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 flowers." Suwali says, "I have 50 plus 3 which is equal to 53 flowers." So, Rohan brings one garland plus two flowers. That is 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 flowers. Suwali brings five garlands and 3 flowers that is 50 plus 3 which is equal to 53 flowers so suwali and rohan together bring 6 garlands 5 flowers that is 60 plus 5 is equal to 65 flowers now we will add the number of flowers for number 12 we will write 2 at one's place and 1 at tens place For number fifty-three, we will write three at ones place and five at tens place. Now we will add the numbers at ones place. That is two plus three, which is equal to five. Now we will add the numbers at tens place, which is one plus five equals to six. Wow. wow. We, We both have 65, 65 flowers. Page 52. How many flowers are used by Zoha and Javed in all? Here we can see Zoha and Javed with one garland each in their hands and four garlands lying on the floor. Zoha brings two garlands plus zero flower. That is 20 plus zero is equal to 20 flowers. Javed brings four garlands and three flowers. That is forty plus three is equal to forty-three flowers. So, Zoha and Javed together bring six garlands, three flowers. That is sixty plus three is equal to sixty-three flowers. Now we will add the number of flowers. Forty-three. At ones place we will write three. At tens place we will write four. Twenty. At ones place we will write zero. At tens place, we will write two. Now we will add the numbers at ones place. That is three plus zero. Find the answer. Now we will add the number at tens place. That is four plus two. Find the answer. What is the total number of flowers used by Zoha and Akash? Zoha brings two garlands plus zero flowers. That is twenty plus zero is equal to twenty flowers. Now you have to calculate the garlands 
and the flower. Akash brings blank, blank. Zoha and Akash together bring blank, blank. Now we will add the two numbers, forty-eight. At ones place we will write eight. At tens place we will write four. Twenty. At ones place we will write zero. At tens place we will write two. Add the numbers. Page fifty-three. What is the total number of flowers used by Rohan and Simran? Rohan brings blank, blank. Simran brings blank, blank. Rohan and Simran together bring blank, blank. Let us do it on a gin ladi. A, twenty-five plus twelve equals to blank. Here we have an image of a girl who suggests count twelve. Ahead of twenty-five. Now we have an image of a gin lady. We can see two figures there, twenty-five and thirty-seven. B, fifty-seven plus thirty-four equals to blank. Here we see an image of a gin lady having number fifty-seven and a blank card. Count blank ahead of blank. Let us understand this way, fifty-seven. Plus thirty-four is equal to fifty-seven plus thirty plus four. That is eighty-seven. If we add fifty-seven and thirty, we arrive at eighty-seven. And if we add four in that, it becomes ninety-one. Now we have the gin lady again. It has five cards on it. The first card reads fifty-seven. The second one says sixty-seven. Then seventy-seven. Eighty-seven and finally ninety-one. In the gin lady, ten has been added to every number. We start from fifty-seven. We add ten. We reach sixty-seven. Then we reach seventy-seven. And then, if we add ten, we reach eighty-seven. And after that, four ones have been added to arrive at ninety-one. C, twenty-four plus forty-three equals to blank. We can write twenty-four. Plus forty plus three, which is equal to sixty-four. Add three in it, we get sixty-seven. Now the same has been shown through the gin lady. The gin lady has six cards. The first card reads number twenty-four, followed by thirty-four, forty-four, fifty-four, sixty-four, and sixty-seven. If we add ten to the first number, which is twenty-four, we reach thirty-four. If we add ten to that, we reach forty-four. If we add ten more to forty-four, we reach at fifty-four. Another ten we add to fifty-four, we arrive at sixty-four. And if we add three ones to that, we reach sixty-seven. Page fifty-four. We can get the number forty-three in another way. That is twenty plus twenty plus three. It is difficult to count the beads of gin lady every time, so let me write the numbers in place of beads. Here we see an image of a gin lady in which each bead is marked by a number, starting from one to forty. Now, add numbers on the number line. I'm calling this a number line. A, twenty-three plus fourteen is equal to thirty-seven. Now. We see a number line here. This starts from zero and ends at forty. If we go ten numbers ahead of twenty-three, we arrive at thirty-three. And if we go four numbers further, we arrive at thirty-seven. B, twenty-four plus sixteen equals to blank. Here we see a number line having numbers from zero to forty. You have to mark the numbers in order to get the answer. C. Eleven plus twenty-two is equal to blank. We have a number line here again. The first number is zero, and the last one is forty. Now mark the correct numbers in order to arrive at the answer. Read the number line and fill the boxes. We have a number line here, from zero to forty. If we go ten places ahead of twenty-two, we arrive at thirty-two, and If we go six places ahead of thirty-two, 
we arrive at 38. So, A. 22 plus blank equals to 38. Find the answer. B. 18 plus blank is equal to blank. Now, we have a number line. The first number is 0 and the last one is 40. If we go 10 numbers ahead of 18, we reach 28. And if we further go 3 numbers from there, we reach 31. From 18, we go 10 numbers ahead. And from there, we go 3 numbers ahead. Page 55 We have another number line here. Here, numbers are from 0 to 40. If we go 10 places ahead of 11, we arrive at a certain number. We go 10 places further ahead. We arrive at this particular number. Let's go 3 places ahead. Find the answer. C. Blank plus blank equals to blank. Add these numbers. 44 plus 23 blank. 56 plus 23 blank. 60 plus 25 blank. 52 plus 30 blank. Playing with blocks. Mahi has some blocks. Isha came with her blocks to play. Let us help them in finding how many blocks they have in total. Mahi's blocks. Two tens, three ones. And Isha's blocks. Three tens, eight ones. Adding their blocks, we get five tens, eleven ones. Eleven ones means one tens plus one ones. Adding five tens and eleven ones or one tens, one ones, we get six tens, one ones. Page 56. Let us find the total number of blocks. Three tens, six ones, plus four tens, seven ones. If we add them, we arrive at seven tens, thirteen ones, which is equal to eight tens and three ones. That is, eighty plus three is equal to eighty-three. Four tens, five ones, plus four tens, nine ones, blank, blank. 5 tens, 8 ones, plus 3 tens, plus 2 ones. Blank, blank. 8 tens, plus 1 ten, and 4 ones. Blank, blank. 2 tens, 6 ones, plus 4 tens, 8 ones. Blank, blank. Page 57. We have an image here. And the two girls in the image are Isha and Mahi. Isha says, Mahi, do you know we can add without counting all the blocks again and again? Now Mahi replies, Oh really Isha? Can you show me how? We'll add 36 with 47. In 36, 6 is at 1's place. And in 47, 7 is at 1's place. Now we'll add 1's. That is 6 plus 7 is equal to 13. This means 1 tens and 3 ones. We will shift this 1 to tens position with 3 and 4. Now adding tens. 3 plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 8. Means 8 tens. That is 36 plus 47 is equal to 83. Add 46 plus 39 blank. 56 plus 19, blank. 36 plus 8, blank. 30 plus 58, blank. 45 plus 35, blank. Let us do. A. Rahim made 43 runs in one match and 58 runs in another match. How many runs he made in two matches together? Blank. Page 58. B. Simarpreet had 12 color pencils. Her mother gifted her 36 more color pencils. How many total color pencils does she have now? Blank. C. 
Hina collected 34 red marbles and 57 blue marbles. How many total marbles does she have now? Blank. D. Sarika spent rupees 56 in the fair, while Manish spent rupees 35 in the fair. What is the total money they both spent in the fair? Blank. E. There are 36 men and 47 women in the bus. How many people are there in the bus? Blank. Let us count the hours. Here we have two images in front of us. In the first image, there is a man selling diyas with his kids. A woman approaches him. The man says, I made 75 diyas in a day and sold 35 out of them. In the second image, the man is calculating. Let me count how many diyas are left now. One, two, three. Page 59. Now we have two images on the page. In the image, the girl is trying to find the answer by drawing lines on the wall. She says, I have another way of doing it. We can draw as many lines as the number of diyas left. Then the boy says, Interesting. Is there any other way to find out? The girl replies, Yes, we can do this on Ginladi too. Now we have the Ginladi here. It has two cards. The first card has number 40 on it. And the second one has 75 written on it. If we go 35 beads backwards from 75, we will arrive at 40. The boy says, I count 75 first and then I will go 35 steps backward. That means if we take away 35 from 75, then the answer will be 40. Which is 75 minus 35 equals to 40. Now we have the Ginladi again. It has two cards. The first card reads 20 and the second one reads 32. If we go 12 beads backwards from 32, we get 20. The girl says, If we have 32 diyas in the morning and 12 diyas are sold by the evening, how many diyas are left? On taking away 12 from 32, we get 20. 32 minus 12 is equal to 20. Page 60. We can also use the Ginladi to find the answers of the following. A. Take away 9 from 18. That is, 18 minus 9 is equal to blank. Now, on the Ginladi, if we go 9 beads backwards from 18, we will arrive at 9. B. Take away 8 from 12. That is, 12 minus 8 equals to blank. Mark your answer on the Ginladi. C. Take away 18 from 30. That is, 30 minus 18 is equal to blank. Now, mark the same on the Ginladi. D. Take away 14 from 23. That is, 23 minus 14 equals to blank. Mark your answer on the Ginladi. E. Take away 17 from 26. That is, 26 minus 17 is equal to blank. Mark your answer on the Ginladi. Page 61. Now, we have an image on the top of the page. There is a conversation happening between the girl and the boy. The girl says, Yesterday we counted left out diyas on the Ginladi. Tell me how you did it. But I don't have a Ginladi at my home. Let us make a Ginladi on the paper then. If I want to take away 15 from 19, I count till 19 first. Then move 15 steps backward. That is 19 minus 15 is equal to 4. Now, we have a number line once again. If we go 15 times 1's backward from 19, we will arrive at 4. Now, the girl says, I have another way of doing subtraction on the number line. We can directly jump back 10 steps and then go 5 steps back to reach 4. Now, we have a number line in front of us. It has numbers from 1 to 20. From 19, we go 10 steps backwards 
and arrive at 9. From 9, we subtract 5 ones or we go 5 steps backwards to arrive at 4. Page 62. Let us do some practice on number line. Read the number line and fill the boxes. Now we have the number line for you. It starts with number 1 and ends at 30. If we go 15 ones back from 26, we will arrive at a certain number. A. 26 minus blank is equal to blank. We have another number line. The number starts from 1 and ends at 40. From 39, we will go 10 steps backward to reach at a certain number. From there, we will go 10 steps backwards again. We will arrive at a particular number. From that number, we will go 8 ones backwards. B. 39 minus 28 equals to blank. Now, we have one more number line for you. The first number is 1 and it ends at 40. If we go 10 steps backwards from 40, we reach at a certain number. From there, if we further go 10 steps backward, we reach at a certain number. And from there, once again, if we go 10 steps backward, we reach a particular number. And if we subtract 1, 1 from there, we reach at a particular number. C. Blank minus blank is equal to blank. Now comes another number line. The number starts from 1 to 40 on this number line. From 38, if we go 10 steps backward, we arrive at a particular number. From there, we go one step backward and we get a particular number. D. 38 minus 11 equals to blank. E. 22 minus 22 is equal to blank. Mark your answer on the number line. F. 14 minus 0 equals to blank. Mark your answer on the number line. G. 35 minus 12 is equal to blank. Mark your answer on the number line. Discuss with children about subtracting 0 and subtracting the number with itself by taking examples from daily life situations like spending all money or spending no money. Page 63. Playing with blocks. Now, we have a strip which contains 10 blocks and one loose block. The boy says, I have 45 blocks. I give 12 blocks to my friend. I am left with how many blocks? 45 minus 12 blank. At one's place, we write 5. At tens place, we write 4. At ones place, we write 2. At tens place, we write 1. Now, subtracting the numbers at the ones place. That is, 5 minus 2 equals to 3. Now, subtracting the numbers at tens place. That is, 4 minus 1 equals to 3. The answer is 33. Subtract 24 from 37. 3 tens, 7 ones. Minus 2 tens, 4 ones. That is, 37 minus 24 is equal to blank. Now, we have two figures, 37 and 24. In 37, at one's place, we have 7. And in 24, at one's place, we have 4. In tens place, we have 3. And in 24, at tens place, we have 2. Let us do 24 minus 13, blank. 54 minus 31, blank. 32 minus 12, blank. 46 minus 34, blank. A. Shikha has rupees 82. She bought pencils for rupees 22. How much money is she left with? Blank. B. Ruby has rupees 60. She bought a notebook for rupees 20. How much money is she left with? Blank. Page 64. Decorating with garlands. 
Now we have four images on this page. In the first one, we see a small girl with three garlands lying on the floor and on the side of them, we have six loose flowers. In the second image, the girl is sitting with the garlands. A woman approaches her and says, Jyoti, can I have one garland and eight flowers? Jyoti replies, I have only six loose flowers. I think I should open a garland. In the last image, she says, Now I can give eight flowers to mummy. Page 65 Now, we can see four garlands and six loose flowers. Each garland has ten flowers, so that makes it total of 46 flowers. To give 18 flowers, we will give six flowers, one garland and open another one and take out two flowers from that garland. Now, we will subtract 18 from 46. We will write 6 at 1's place and 4 at 10's place. 8 at 1's place and 1 at 10's place. Hence, 46 minus 18 equals to blank. In the next step, we will subtract the numbers at the 1's place. Since we cannot subtract 8 from 6, we will borrow 1 from the 4 at 10's place. 6 will become 16. Now, we will subtract 8 from 16 and we will get 8 at 1's place. The value at 10's place will now be 3 and we will subtract 1 from 3 at 10's place. Now, we get the answer 20. Eight. Hence, we have opened one garland which is equal to 16 flowers. So, 16 minus 8 equals to 8. So, finally, 46 minus 18 equals to 28. The girl says, I am left with two garlands and eight flowers or 28 flowers in all. Now, Jyoti has 28 flowers in all. She gives five to her friend. Help Jyoti to find out how many flowers is she left with. Now we can see two garlands and eight loose flowers. 28 minus 5. Now find the correct answer. Page 66. Now Jyoti has 54 flowers in all. She gives 28 to her mother. How many flowers is she left with? Now. We have 5 garlands plus 4 loose flowers. In order to give 28 flowers to her mother, she will give 4 loose flowers, break 2 garlands and take 4 flowers from the 3rd garland. 54 minus 28 blank. Now, in the number 54, 4 is at 1's place and 5 is at 10's place. And in 28, 8 is at 1's place and 2 is at 10's place. Now, we have to subtract 8 from 4, which is not possible. So, we'll borrow 1 from 5, which is at 10's place. Now, 4 becomes 14, and 5 at 10's place becomes 4. If we subtract 8 from 14, we'll get 6. And now, at the 10's place, we will subtract 2 from 4. We get number 2. So, the answer is 26. Now, Jyoti says, Oh, I need to open one garland. Then, I will have four garlands and 14 flowers. From it, I can give eight flowers. That is, 14 minus 8 equals to 6. Now, Jyoti is left with, I am left with two garlands and six flowers, or 26 flowers in all. Jyoti has 73 flowers in all. She gives 47 to her mother. How many flowers is she left with? Now, Jyoti has 7 garlands, 3 flowers. Jyoti gives 4 garlands and 7 flowers. Jyoti is left with how many garlands and flowers? This you have to determine. Page 67 Let us do. 45 minus 18, blank. 84 minus 37, blank. 
64 minus 45 blank 27 minus 27 blank 93 minus 48 blank skip the rope aman and avni are playing skip the rope both have to complete 20 skips a skip can be counted when the rope passes under the feet they will get two chances to skip if one misses any skip in the first time then they will get one more chance to complete 20 skips a aman skipped 14 times in the first chance how many more skips he has to make to complete 20 skips 20 minus 14 is equal to blank 14 plus blank is equal to 20 we also have a picture here where avni and aman are playing skip the rope aman is skipping b avni skipped 12 times in the first chance how many more skips she has to make to complete 20 skips blank 20 minus 12 equals to blank 12 plus blank equals to 20 page 68 let us do in the image we can see a boy holding blocks there is also a ginladi the boy says we can use any of the method ginladi number strip number block or moti mala to find the answers a anushka collected 63 shells she gave 26 shells to her brother how many shells are left with her blank b 54 passengers were sitting in the bus and 16 got down at the bus stand how many are there in the bus now blank c there were 14 balloons and 13 balloons got burst how many balloons are left blank d kanika made 72 bangles she sold 36 bangles how many bangles are left with kanika now blank e 56 birds were sitting on the tree a few more birds joined them now there are 87 birds find out the number of birds that came later blank f arman dribbled the ball 18 times how many more times should he dribble the ball to complete 35 taps blank page 69 addition and subtraction facts fill the missing numbers to complete the fact family the three numbers are 20 30 50 20 30 50 are written on each corner of the triangle 20 plus 30 equals to blank 30 plus blank equals to 50 50 minus blank equals to 20 this is done for you the answer is 30 blank minus 20 equals to 30 now the next set of numbers are 10 20 30 these numbers are written at the corners of a triangle 10 plus 20 is equal to blank blank plus blank is equal to blank 30 minus blank is equal to 10 30 minus blank is equal to 20 now the next set of numbers is 20 80 and 100 all these numbers are written at the corner of a triangle now do the addition and subtraction of these numbers addition and subtraction pyramid we have two addition pyramids here on the first pyramid four numbers are written on the base 5 3 6 8 we add 5 and 3 and we get 8 we write 8 on top of them in the pyramid we add 6 and 8 and the answer is 14 we write 14 on top of them in the pyramid now add 3 and 6 and write the answer on top of it complete the pyramid by adding the numbers in the second addition pyramid we have four numbers written on the base 6 4 3 8 we add 6 and 4 the answer is 10 we write 10 on top of them in the pyramid similarly we add 3 and 8 
The answer is 11. We write 11 on top of them in the pyramid. Now add 4 and 3. Write the answer on top of these numbers. Complete the pyramid in the same manner. Now, we have this subtraction pyramid for you. In the first pyramid, we have number 37 at the top. At the bottom of 37, we have 16 and you have to find out the second number. If you go further below, we have 11 written at the center. You have to find out the other number. Similarly, fill the rest of the blanks. In the second image, in this pyramid, at the base, two numbers are given, 6 and 8. Find out the rest of the numbers. In the second pyramid, we can see 50 at the top. Below that, we have 24. You have to find out the other number. If we go further down, at the center, we have 11. Find the rest of the two numbers. At the base, we have 9. Then we have a blank. And then we have 5. And then there is a blank. Find out the missing numbers. Page 70. Look at this diagram. We have a diagram here. Four numbers are written in the four highlighted boxes. The numbers are 3, 9, 6 and 5. 12 is written between 3 and 9. Here, 3 plus 9 equals to 12. 15 is written between 9 and 6. Here, 9 plus 6 equals to 15. 11 is written between 6 and 5. Here, 6 plus 5 equals to 11. 8 is written between 3 and 5. Here, 5 plus 3 equals to 8. Now, we have two diagrams. Please complete them. A. We start with a box. The first box has number 1 in it. If we go further, we have number 5. And after that, we have a box which is blank. If we go down from there, we have number 10. If we go further down, we have one more box which is blank. Now going further, we have 14 written there. And if we move further, there is one more box, but this box is again blank. Moving up, we have number 9 here. And if we go further from there, we arrive at the same place where we started. The box had number 1 in it. B. Now once again we have four boxes. All the boxes are blank. In between four blank boxes we have four different numbers which are 10, 13, 12 and 9. Hania and Mansi's gift. Hania and Mansi want to give a gift to their mother. For its decoration they purchased some ribbons and a gift wrapper. There are rupees 78 in the purse. The cost of a gift wrapper is rupees 24 and the cost of ribbons is rupees 37. A. How much money did they spend? Blank. B. How much money is left with them? Blank. Project work. Daljeet has solved some questions and written down their answers. What do you think? Are they correct? Verify the answers. Correct it. If you find them wrong. 25 plus 36 is equal to 511. 37 plus 58 equals to 131. 35 minus 17 is equal to 22. 57 minus 78 is equal to 21. 30 minus 17 is equal to 27. You were just listening to this audiobook, Joyful. Narrators, Harpreet Kaur and Neera Jyadav. Technical Coordination, Bati Langlingdo. Sound Recordist, Vikas Sangwan. Assistance in Production, Shanu Muksim. Produced and Directed by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook was brought to you by CIET-NCERT, New Delhi, India.